Hello everybody, my name is Saad Ringo and I'm a midlife farmer. I need help with my tomato plants. Um, I'm a little concerned about the way they look. The leaves seem to be curling up and they feel a little uh, rigid. Now this one here is definitely not the worst but it's not the best looking. Uh, this here seems to be okay. This one, eh. Now, on this one here, I went ahead and removed some of the leaves uh, that were towards the bottom yesterday uh, because they had some discoloration on them. But uh, if we look at these, I don't see um, a, um, mosaic that's usually an indication for tobacco mosaic virus um, let's see here I don't see any any bugs on them this one not so much this one here is the worst so leaves curling up the top seems to be drooping a little bit. Um, I don't remember, but it seems like I did remove some of the leaves towards the bottom here. And let's look at the colors on these leaves here. Uh, okay, this is this is not rigid. Uh, sorry. These leaves are not rigid. Um, they are wilting. And there's some discoloration here. Looks like it's starting at the tip where there's some brown and yellow. You see it here on these leaves as well. Now, what changed, uh, the changes that I made this year, but three months ago, I amended the soil. I added some horse manure uh, that was not fully decomposed. The reason why I'm saying it was not fully decomposed is because it was full of earthworms. So there must have been quite a bit of organic matter for them to eat. Um, other changes that I made this year is I added these wood chips. This is pine uh, from a tree removal company. And I'm using the landscaping fabric. Um, weather conditions lately have been, uh, we did have some mid 40s at night uh, for a couple days. We also had a uh, somewhat of a heat wave. As a matter of fact, you see some of the things are bolting here, like the radish, uh, broccoli rob. But other than to the tomatoes, uh, most of the other plants seem to be thriving. So um, I don't know if that's any indication of the, the, the condition of the soil and how much uh, how much food there is in the soil for these tomatoes. Let's see here, we'll look at this leaf here on the bottom. Um, the other thing is, uh, as far as insects, I've been noticing a lot of long-legged flies, which are beneficial insect. They eat smaller insects, but I did not see any smaller insects. They hung out here for a while. So there must have been some insects that uh, that they were feeding on, but that I'm not seeing. So this tomato here being the worst case. By the way, this leaf is far from the radish. I'll just remove it. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so here we have this tomato with curd leaves. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, a viral infection, fungus. I don't see 
any insects on it. Uh, water, I held off water in for two or three days now. Uh, we're expecting some rain tonight. One thing I wanted to look at, there is a tomato here that has that is being shaded from uh, those beans. It's kind of leggy. And just to see if it's too much sun. And the plants have been out here for about a month. So this should be acclimated uh, or hardened off. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, research this some more on Google and uh, reach out to some of the gardening forums. But uh, I'm a little concerned. I don't want to lose my tomatoes. And if it is a virus, uh, it could be a virus that will also affect other plants. But uh, plants that are similar, I mean, there are peppers, uh, they're slow growing. Uh, there are eggplants, the majority seem to be doing okay. Uh, as a matter of fact, this eggplant right here seems to be doing great in the last few days. Uh, yeah, if you have any idea, or if you're able to uh, to tell what is wrong with these plants and how I should proceed, I would appreciate if you point me in the right direction, or even let me know, hey, uh, this is it, do this. Uh, I hope I don't have to pull them out. Alrighty, well, I'll be looking forward to your participation in uh, troubleshooting this. Thank you.